The sudden death of Fenville High School basketball player Wes Leonard brought doctors and school leaders together tonight. Doctors talked about sudden cardiac arrest and what they believe school leaders should know. 24 Hour News 8's Tony Taliavia is live in studio with more on that. Sue and Brian, the doctors also weighed in on the debate of how best to screen students to find the problems before the worst happens. They came from 21 schools, a church and a day camp. Coley Johnson works 120 miles from Grand Rapids at a high school in Jackson County. He says the West Leonard story caught the attention of many in the athletic community and many outside of it. When that occurred uh, back in March, everybody, I think, went home that night and hugged their child because, um, you know, what a tragedy. Johnson says he lost his brother to sudden cardiac arrest 30 years ago. And as much time as he spends around athletes, he wants to do what he can to try to prevent it from happening in his schools. Doctors stress the importance of basic life support training, school programs for automatic external defibrillators or AEDs, and the critical element of time. A matter of minutes can send the chance of survival from more than 90% to less than 10. And speakers waded into the debate over how to screen students for possible heart problems. We're unable to really predict and tell a family or a parent or a coach um, whether this child or adult has a chance of sudden cardiac arrest. Dr. Ronald Grifta is the cardiology chief at Helen DeVos Children's Hospital. He gave a litany of reasons why heart screenings wouldn't be practical. Perhaps most critically, he says current tests regularly show problems when there are none and regularly show no problems when they do exist. The best solution, Grifka says, is through better annual physicals. The doctor says assembly line athletic physicals, where athletes are seen one after the other in the school gym, are not enough. We really need to do better than that. We need to see your physician get a full examination, look at eyes, ears, spine, kidneys, in addition to the heart, and then we'll really improve health care for these kids. About a dozen of the people at the talk came from one district, Fenville. School board president Tony Longaro says they came to support the Leonard family and the Fenville community. And he says they came to help show other schools just how important the issues are. If we can play a small part in, in pushing that message and helping that awareness uh, come forward, then you know we're contributing in our small way. The talk put on by Spectrum Health did not include specifics of the West Leonard incident, but a doctor at the event told us it has prompted lots of questions. Spectrum does have some events related to the issue coming up, including a treatment discussion tomorrow and an online chat next month. Details are being posted right now at woodtv.com. Sue. Thanks, Tony.